This video will show you how we create a tactile diagram based on an image that we can find on the internet. The idea is that you are going out on the internet to find a, a diagram that you uh, want to use. In this case we are using Google uh, to find our image. Uh, we are going to look for an image to create a birthday card. Um, so we use our browser and then go to visit uh, Google and start our uh, search. Yeah, so in this example we will look for a birthday card. I will type in happy birthday, go to image search and then we have a whole list of available images. Now it's, uh, it's the trick to find the best suitable image for the tactile use of this image. Uh, you can use these search tools for example to select the type. Uh, line drawing usually works quite well, but clip art is also a good option. You can refine by color and also by size. Well, in our example we can right away find our uh, example that we will use. It's an image of happy birthday uh, with a number of balloons and uh, stars around it. So we are going to uh, copy paste it into tactile view. So I will right click and select copy image and then we head over to tactile view and I can either use ctrl v to paste it or use the um, paste button right here or use right click and then paste. So now we have the uh, image that we found on internet in the drawing area from tactile view. Yeah I will reposition it and slightly enlarge it to make the best use of the paper and the next step is to modify the image so that it becomes textually usable. The first step is to use one of our filters to easily convert it into a line drawing. It's the first filter we find here, convert to line drawing. In this case I will use the slider to select the optimal setting around 20 3, maybe 30 in this example. And um, then we can also use these filters to uh, modify selected areas in this image. So you select a certain area in this drawing? Yeah, I will go to select area and I will click and drag in the image. Let's say we want to edit this part. Then down here in the toolbar again we have the same list of um, filters. And for example, we can change the line thickness slightly to make it better for tactile use. Now, one other thing we usually do is use the retouching tools to edit the image um, in areas that we want to, uh, to modify. For example, these little stars, they are slightly too small to be felt with your fingertips. So I will, we remove them. I will use the er eraser to take these out. Well, and then the tactile image is almost ready, but it usually is a um, good practice to add extra texts that clarify the image. So you have the title on the top side. I will double click the title so we can edit it. And I will type the text happy birthday and resize the text label so that it fits on one uh, line and then we can also add extra texts to clarify the image so you could somewhere uh, write the name or certain uh, elements of the object for of example this, uh, image. I will place the text happy and a line to signify that this part of the image has the letters happy and we will do the same for birthday again with a line going to the text in the image and finally I will include the text balloon to signify that these circles with the string are balloons and there we have it now we can send our birthday card to our friend. Ready for printing.